So I've had these Wintec oars for about a, uh, about just over a year now, and I've probably done about 3,000 kilometers with them. And so I wanted to give you guys a bit of a review on what I think of them, uh, what I think of the good bits and a couple of bad bits that I've had with them. So I first got onto these uh, Wintec oars. These are the reduced diameter shaft ones uh, just before nationals last year. And uh, there was a set laying around the shed that no one was using and I was trying to work out what set of new oars I wanted, whether it be, you know, Croker Arrows or Concept 2 Skinnies um, or, uh, yeah, all these. So trying these, I, uh, I noticed straight away that they're a lot easier to get out at the finish. So having this reduced diameter shaft is probably one of the smallest, if not the smallest, uh, shaft on the market. It makes it really easy to tap out. So you tap out and you can get a nice clean puddle every time. Whereas with uh, either you know, a pair of like standard S4 croakers or even the arrows didn't seem to tap out quite as nicely as, as these did. The other thing I really noticed too was going into a, a headwind. Uh, as soon as you use these, uh, can, they're just so much nicer rowing into a headwind. You don't feel like you're, you're pushing with your hands going, going into the wind. You feel it feels a lot more controlled and a lot easier to get a nice recovery. The main difference that I found between uh, the croakers, so the croaker um, croaker arrows and these ones, was the catch. This I think these blades are a little bit better at locking on at the catch than the croakers. I found at the catch the arrows were a lot more flighty, like I. I, it was less forgiving if I didn't get the catch just right, whereas I feel like these were a lot more locked on, like my old pair of Concept 2 blades that I had. So in a way, I, when I first tried these, I thought they were a good, uh, good mix of the lock feeling that you get at the, the catch with the Concept 2s and the, uh, the clean finish that you, get, that you get with the Croker Arrows. So one of the things that I really like about these, just like the Concept 2s, is they've got the uh, the numbers, so what the oars are set on, uh, perfectly here. So you don't have to measure them every time you do it. Um, you know, the gate mechan the um, the collar mechanism is very similar to uh, to any other set of oar. You just undo it with a flathead screwdriver. Uh, it's annoying that at the end here. I don't know if you can see, but it's got a special star tool for the end here, not a regular uh, screwdriver or or something like that. So you have to keep one of them handy. Um, it does come with one. I lost it pretty quickly, and you know I needed to get another one for my toolkit because it's not a standard sort of measurement. Again, here I found that this uh, one time I lost this bolt. I had to replace that, but you know it's not hard to do. Uh, a couple of the, the downsides, uh, I've noticed with these ones that the sleeve has started to crack. Don't know if you can see there, but see it started to crack. So this plastic's obviously a little bit more uh, brittle than, than say you might get on the, uh, the Croker or the Concept 2. I haven't had that happen before. It hasn't got to the point where it's a problem, like they're all still perfectly functional and it doesn't change that in any regard, but I guess eventually it will fail and then it will have to be replaced but um you know it's not such a big deal the main thing that was the the worst part about these oars was the grips you can notice here that i've got a set of croaker grips on here um they cut the ones that came with i went for maybe two or three rows and just by the method just by feathering i was actually ripping parts of the grip off and i was flaking flaking away it wouldn't last very long so immediately replaced them with these croaky yellows. I found that um, for me, with the Concept 2s I was rowing with, I had croaker grips on them as well, the blue ones. Uh, I found that they're meant to be the same uh, handle diameter, so you're meant to be able to put a blue on here and it be the same as the blue with the croaker, um, or the Concept, but I didn't find that was the case. I found that the yellows were far more comfortable. I felt like the blue was a bit bigger than the uh, than it was on the croaker or the concept so i really enjoyed using these yellow grips uh, with these oars although i would typically use a blue grip if i was using a, a croaker um, yeah the other main thing that you might be surprised to know is I'm, I'm a heavyweight and i weigh about 100 kilos 
and these oars that I'm rowing with are softs. I haven't tried rowing with the uh, with like a medium or a stiff pair of these, but I really like the way these softs feel at the catch. So there's a lot less stress through your body when you take the catch, and it allows you to load up. So when the angle's quite big at the catch, so the blade's right out there, when you place it, instead of actually having to squeeze the boat too much, it bends in the oar, and that oar then holds that elastic energy till towards the square off and finish position where it's more effective and releases it. So I find that it's a really good way to get a catch that feels like it's really locked on, doesn't stress your body too much, and the, the main difference that I liked sticking with these, these Wintech RDSs as opposed to a friend's uh, Croker Arrows that I borrowed is the Croker Arrows were just so stiff, they were so unforgiving at the catch. And I know you can get them in a, a lesser stiffness, but I definitely am a fan of soft oars. I feel like they really, really allow you to get locked on at the catch. Really, uh, it's a real confidence thing. You get the blade in the water, you get the pressure on, and the boat's balanced. You got a lock on, and you draw it all the way through to the finish. And you get that that bit at the catch, that powerful bit with the le early legs and back that you put into the oar at the catch, then gets stored as elastic energy through a bend in the oar, then gets released at the finish. So in summary, I reckon these oars are great. Uh, I've recommended them to everyone who I see. Uh, they haven't, I haven't had a chance to test out the Concept 2 skinnies, which I think would be a lot more similar to, to this Wintech oar than it would be to say the, uh, the Croak Arrows. They've got a slightly different different blade shape. Uh, again, reduced diameter shaft makes it easier to go into a headwind. Uh, there's not as much resistance, air resistance pushing on this oar shaft. And because they're quite skinny, they allow quite a bit of flex, which is really useful for uh, people who have injuries or lower back problems. Uh, when I was talking to someone who works for Croker, they were saying that one of their top elite athletes that uses the the croaker arrows, so like the equivalent of this in a croaker, uh, train all the time with the soft, soft diameter shaft. So the soft shaft ones, so a lot more flex in them, a lot more forgiving at the catch, and then they race with a medium stiffness one. And the, just the feeling that you get from the, the softer oar is, a, is a, in my opinion, a lot nicer than something that's just brutally unforgiving at the catch, and you really put the, the pressure of that catch that you're putting in the legs all through your body. You don't get that sort of nice elastic effect that you get with these oars. Um, although when I first went rowing with these, I thought that they were very small and I wasn't sure like how strong they'd be. But you know, I've been rowing with them comfortably, you know, racing with them as well. And I haven't had any issues with them. So yeah, I'd highly recommend these oars for someone who's looking for a new set of oars, it would be good to try them out, of course. I'd be keen to try out the new generations of the concept uh, skinnies to see see what they're like, but I'm really happy with these oars and I'd recommend them, recommend them from people, you know, beginners onwards. They're a great looking oar and I think they perform really well and give a good feel while you're rowing the boat.